Hey, what's up fellow YouTubers, fellow Toy Nuts and Toy Collectors. This is Odie, better known to you as Starscream1988, and thank you so very much for stopping by my channel. As you can see here in front of you, this is the Power Rangers Dino Charge Megazord. Very cool, this is on the retro fire size basically. They changed the packaging, now they're included in the same packaging where you get the actual figures. So that's pretty cool. Um, it used to be that they had their, kind of like their own type of packaging, the, all the retro fires and stuff like that. So they've changed it up, so now they're saving on package, which is always a good thing. And now they can just kind of add them on these. So as you can see, that's the front. Nothing on the side. Nothing on this side, other than the fact it tells you how to use the app in case you do get the, the chargers, the batteries. And then obviously the back of the package there. And I'll bring it over so you can read it. This came out a while ago, obviously. This is part of the, the first wave um, and I'm just now getting around to uh, reviewing it. I have a few more that I'll be doing today, so you'll see these all come out together. So there you go. I think that was enough. It comes in a couple different languages, and at the time, that's what had been released. Um, I have her, him, a whole bunch of them, those, and now I have him there. And then on wave two, you'll see that on uh, some of the upcoming videos. So yeah, so there's your Dino Charge Megazord. I'll be showing you some comparisons. Him next to some of his brethren from past shows. So yeah, let's check him out. Alright, and we're back and there he is out of the package. Um, when I first got this figure, um, I remember saying in the toy hall how I just didn't like him. I didn't like his proportions. He didn't look right. Out of the package, it's a little bit better. And that goes for like even like when I do Hot Wheels. Um, they're always so much better out of the package. I mean, that's why for those of you that collect and never open, um, you know, obviously to each their own and everybody collects differently, but you're using, sometimes you're missing out. Um, now that he's out of the package, I don't think he's too, too bad. Um, I will say though, they're getting, I mean, I'm sure it's a cost effective, effective thing. Um, in terms of they, they're, they're kind of cutting the costs on articulation, it seems. And obviously on colors. Now you have enough here in the front, but it wouldn't have killed them <laughs> to do a little bit on the back here. Other than the dino, obviously he's fully covered, um, fully painted, I should say. But the back is really plain. And I know there has to be some more color back there. So I mean, again, if you want, you could paint that yourself there, uh, which I might, because obviously these are cheap enough where it's not a big deal. You can paint them and just make them a little bit nicer. Um, so in terms of articulation, he has pretty good leg movement. As you can see there, his feet actually have a little bit of leg movement there, and they do obviously swivel. Um, they go in and out, as you can see there. Um, no waist articulation. That would have been cool. Again, that wouldn't have killed them to do it, but it is what it is. Um, their arms, 360. As you can see, he can hold this very cool sword here, um, and that definitely needs a lot of coloring. But you can do that yourself, and he can hold it in either hand. As you can see there, but there is a drill there, so that's why for me he'll be a righty. I'm sure he is in the show too, actually. So this this is the the one of the other Zords, kind of small. Here's the the female lead of the show. Um, his head can turn 360 if you so wish. Doing a little exorcist there. Um, no up or down, and that's pretty much it. Um, oh, the hands 360 there. That one's kind of in the way, so we won't force it, but that one will turn all the way there, as you can see. And that's pretty much it. That is your full articulation on this particular guy here. Again, not too bad. I mean, it'll still go f well with the rest of the... Um, I still call them retro fire because that's what they were calling them originally. But, um, oh, I almost forgot movement there a little because of all the extra shoulder pad. That's as far as it'll go up, but that's still pretty good, though. Um, but yeah, let's bring out the original here for the states. Here is your Megazord, original Megazord, which is still pretty nice. One of my favorites. I'm um, keeping the, the whole Dino theme going. And then here you have from Dino Thunder, the, the Dino Thunder Zord. Uh, which I find funny that, um, you know, either the, the guys are super sentized, they're running out of ideas. Um, actually, I thought that the train thing was pretty unique. Um, that hasn't hit the United States yet, but um, the whole train thing I thought was kind of unique. There was so many, so many, so many different trains. But at the end of the day, they kind of did the same move, right? You know? But it was still cool. Um, but in terms of what I'm trying to say, the fact that his main body is the 
the Tyrannosaurus, obviously. And then you have your Triceratops and whatever she was, or vice versa, I should say, Triceratops and whatever he was. They're the arms. Well, this show here from, what, 10 years ago, um, if not a little bit longer, same idea. The main um, Zord is most of the whole body and even an arm because um, his tail is that arm there. And then the only other two guys was the bird that comes over here, which was the yellow ranger. And then you got your blue uh, Triceratops that becomes the other arm. So it's almost the same thing, which is kind of, again, I find funny. Not funny, but like just kind of weird that it, they, they use the same formula um, other than the original dino, which really is five parts. Um, but still fine. It's cool. I like when they, they start off with three and add more. Um, in the case of this show, I believe all five of them came out at the same time. So two people riding one and then the red has the Zorb uh, by himself. And then when they're all together, they're all sit inside here somewhere, all five of them. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I think they all look pretty nice together now. Now that, again, I have them out of the package, I think he looks a little bit better. So I definitely appreciate it a little bit more. Other than, again, he just needs some coloring. Um, so that's the only thing I will say that they're lacking of. If you can see these two guys here originally, I mean, they have a lot of coloring. So I know this is missing some colors because there's no way this is just all red. But yeah, there you go, guys. Again, as always, thank you so much for watching my videos. I definitely, definitely appreciate it. Please rate, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. Hope you enjoy this. Um, and I'll see you in a few for a couple other ones. All right, you guys take care. Peace. Later. Thanks for viewing.